Purgatory is back, rampaging, and more bloodthirsty than ever. Her soul shards have been upgraded to soul neutralize, causing the opponent to build up to 100% reduced buff ability accuracy as she works her way toward their soul. When capturing her opponent's soul, she now keeps hold of it for the rest of the quest, and she no longer needs to knock out her opponent to do so. Her soul effects have also been upgraded to make them all more effective. And she now gains these effects at the start of the fight against different classes regardless of if she's captured the soul or not. It's also easier for her to build bloodthirst and stay in demonic rage, especially against those cosmics with lots of buffs. If you're able to ramp Purgatory with multiple souls, you'll have a lethal questing champion at your disposal. Purgatory's ready to steal the soul of the contest. Have you updated yet? Well, you should. Purgatory's buff is waiting for you in the October update. Medusa's back with a brand new hairdo, and with it, she comes with some improvements. She can now gain six fury buffs on her own, unawakened, and the first three are indefinite, unlocking that synergy with the Thor Relic. She also bumped up the potency and duration of that armor break when she shatters the opponent, making for some big yellow numbers. Now, don't worry, she can still annihilate those pesky robot champions with reduced power rate and ability accuracy, and those living strands are as helpful and punishing as ever. Family is important to Medusa, so since she comes loaded with six fury buffs, Black Bolt was kind enough to increase the potency by 40%. Medusa has some other new tricks up her sleeves. Stay tuned to find out what else she can do. Have you updated yet? Well, you should. Medusa's buff is waiting for you in the October update. 